Resnor, waste oil heater, nozzle line assembly, servicing cleaning. This one's a bad one. Carefully remove the electrodes. They are fragile. Carefully remove small preheater cartridge from inlet preheater block. These nozzle temp controls will be replaced. This nozzle should be replaced about every 2,000 hours. Carefully remove small preheater cartridge from nozzle block. Clean everything inside and out back to bare metal. Leave no carbon behind. That will cause nozzle clogage. Here is everything cleaned and laid out, all parts available at westbrosinc.com. Use a small amount of liquid sealant, no Teflon tape. Finish tightening completely with a wrench. Here's another view of the assembly. Be sure to align the electrode mount correctly. Note where the air hose goes through the mount. Be sure to tighten with a wrench completely and be sure that the inlet preheater aligns correctly with the electrode mount.
either replace this air hose or inspect it thoroughly for any pinholes, leaks, or tears. Secure in place with the common wire tie. Small amount of transmission fluid on the threads, the o-ring and seal surface of the nozzle. The nozzle only needs to be slightly tighter than hand tight. Note that the new nozzle temp control with the red wires goes closest to the orange compressed air inlet tubing. Be sure to reinstall the high temp wire shielding. Do not use any lubrication or sealant on the small cartridge heaters at all. Dry. There's a close-up of the electrode adjustment at the end of this video. Here's a second view. Lubricate threads and o-ring. Tighten slightly tighter than hand tight with a wrench. Red wire nozzle temp control next to the compressed air inlet. wires through the opening in the electrode mount. Reinstall the high temp wire shielding. Secure in place with a zip tie. Once the ignition electrodes are set correctly in front of the nozzle, the nozzle line assembly will be ready to install into the main burner assembly. <laughs> 